Hey, my name is Steve and welcome to Command Shift New and our Logic Pro quick tips in three minutes or less. Today we're taking a look at how to add a second ruler and change the way that your playhead scrolls through your track. In Logic Pro, you will often see the musical meter across the top track workspace. This shows you the bars and beats of your session. If you want to measure your track in time rather than bars and beats though, you can go to File, Project Settings, General, and turn off Musical Meter to switch it to the time code. This may be more appropriate for tracks without strict tempos, experimental tracks, or audio production work like Foley and sound design. However, in some cases you really want to see both. In film score, for example, it may be beneficial to see both the time code of your cues and the bars of your composition. If you go to the top of the track workspace and select the view menu, you can select secondary ruler under tracks, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Control Option R. This will add two rulers to the top of your track workspace, and which one is on top will depend on whether you have set the project to use the musical grid or not. In this menu is another useful feature that is great to be aware of. If you have ever used other doors before, you may be more used to seeing the playhead stay in the middle of the screen and your tracks moving underneath it. By default, Logic Pro moves the playhead across the screen from left to right, and as it nears the end, it jumps the display forward to the next section. If you select Scroll in Play under the View menu in the track workspace, however, it will change the playhead function to the fixed middle position, which may be more to your liking. All of these settings can be easily turned on and off each session as per your liking. If you've enjoyed this quick tip and would like to hear more, why not like the video and subscribe for the next one? You never know what new trick you might pick up. Happy music making and I will see you in the next one.